Do you agree with my assessment of how things shook out? Oh, sure. Sure I do. I, I think that uh, Bernie was so frightening, they, they picked a man that is showing obvious signs of dementia, which is astounding. Because if you consider that what he's de displaying gets worse, what's he going to be like three years from now? Yeah. If, he, if he doesn't know what state he's in, he can't figure out who his wife is. And if he thinks 150 million people, which is half the population roughly of America, got killed, then what's he going to be like two years from now when that illness gets worse? Do you I, think I don't, I don't think we should put look we're, we're dealing with who's going to be the president of the United States and we shouldn't pussyfoot around with this. The man has something wrong with him and it's serious. Not only that, his family has been stealing for 30 years. Uh, there are at least eight cases in which the family made hundreds of thousands and millions of selling his public office. Now it is possible. It is actually possible that when he said I didn't know about it. He's so out of it, he didn't know about it. <laughs> it's the best defense he's got. I don't believe got. that's true. I mean, the kid, the, the kid has uh, terrible drug problems, and he becomes a multimillionaire. Any father would want to know how, right? And, and since daddy took him to China <laughs> to make $1.5 billion of it, you know, I noticed that you said he's soft on China. Yeah. If my family got, you know, $1.5 billion investment for China, I, you know, I don't think I'd be soft on China anyway, but it could, it could affect you. It could. Do you, you, know, and, do and, you and think when he went that... To when he went to Iraq and he blew, and he blew the uh, status of forces agreement, and his brother got one-third of a $1.5 billion housing project, might have had an effect on it. I don't know. Yeah. Do you uh, think when, the, really, when really Joe sad. Biden says that, you know, I didn't know what was going on, when he says that, does that make him look even more out of it? Because that could be the best excuse he has. But when he makes that excuse, because that's the only way he can slide by, it just makes it, everybody it, doubt if he has what it takes to run the country, if you don't even know what your family's doing. If he really doesn't know that his, father, his, his brother and his son were selling him out for 20 years and became multimillionaires, then... Uh, he belongs somewhere else, not in the White House, you know, and you know where he belongs. So he's either I mean, corrupt he's or he, he he's incapable of being the president, right? He's either corrupt oh, but, or uh, he's clueless. Let, let me, let, uh, yeah, well, let me stop the fooling around. I have witnesses that know that he knew. You do? Of course he knew. Of course he knew. He knew probably from the beginning, and it's a scam. It's the family, it's the Biden family enterprise. What's their, what, what do they monetize? They monetize his public office. When he's in the Senate, they do it with a real estate company, they do it with a bank, they do it with a private equity fund that goes bankrupt and one guy in it is running a Ponzi scheme. And they make a mi millions from that. And then they do it with Iraq, and they do it with Ukraine, and they do it with China. And those are the ones where they made millions. There are little ones where they made less, like Romania. This was an ongoing criminal enterprise. It should have been investigated when I first brought it out back in February. And the only reason it's affecting the presidential campaign is because it was covered up back in February by the Democrats with the lies that the case had been debunked. I have the case. <laughs> I have the arrest of the company three weeks before the prosecutor was fired. And I have the memo that shows that Hunter Biden was engaged in a $14.6 million money laundering scheme. Prosecutor got that three days before he was fired. The prosecutor has been poisoned. That's, that, there's a record in the Austrian hospital with the foremost surgeon, not surgeon, but doctor in the world who saved Viktor Yushchenko's life. He was poisoned with mercury. Never even covered in the American press. Well, they don't want so, to cover it, and um, if they have to face well, it, they just real... call it debunked and they look the other way. Can I play you oh, some no, video, no. Mayor, of some unearthed sure. Biden sound from early 70s, I think, 73 Cleveland? He's making some comments that made people think, wow, um, I haven't heard that before from Joe. Let's listen to him on black Americans. I think the two-party system, although my Democratic colleagues don't like me saying this, I think the two-party system is good for the South and good for the good for the black in the South. All right, and then he follows that up with some comments about women, which some may think was a little sexist. Let's listen to that. And the only analogy I can really think of is 
a football analogy, and I apologize to you women in the audience for not being able to think of a more appropriate analogy, but they told me here they didn't want you here anyway. I didn't expect any women to be here. So say what you want about the content of that, 1973. If that had been Donald Trump on tape saying those exact things, all hell would have broken loose. But if it's Joe Biden, no of one cares. Course. And if it were Donald Trump and Donald Trump Jr., they'd both be indicted by now. <laughs> right. So uh, the unfairness of it and the double standard is horrible. But I'll tell you what that displays to me. I mean, I've known Joe since 1976, and I know people went to law school with him. He was the dumbest guy in a law school class. <laughs> I mean, that could, be, that could be the product of an inadequate IQ. But right now, we've got something worse going on. What I see, I mean, I've had relatives who, that I think we probably all have. If you can't figure out what's going on with Joe Biden right now, then you're covering up. And if you can't figure out that he was involved in the bribery, then you're really so naive, you shouldn't be covering anything. I mean, my God, I, I investigated lots of crimes. This would be one of the easier ones to prove. I mean, knock down easy documents, audio tapes, videotapes, confessions. You don't need anything else. What do you and the cover-up that's going on right. is so corrupt. It actually is so corrupt. If we don't change it, America doesn't have much of a future in terms of a country that is as fair to Republicans as Democrats or gets politics out of the criminal justice system. What do you think it says about the Democratic establishment that they will put forward a candidate that's obviously not doing well upstairs and obviously Clearly. is very corrupt, very crooked with regards to family members getting rich and, off and his they name. Love that because what a do lot you of think that's? Yeah, but so why? So they're getting behind this guy. You know, they don't want crazy socialists. I understand the politics of that, but this is this guy's damaged goods, and they're trying to ride damaged goods to the White House just to get their power back. What does that say about them? It says about them that they've been completely corrupted by the coverage they get. You know, if. if um, if, some, if, if someone's not disciplined for doing something wrong, they do it again and again right. and again and again, at least if, if that kind of person. Now, uh, Biden and Hillary Clinton don't believe in a million years they're going to get punished for the kinds of crimes right. they commit in which all of us would go to jail. You're right. The press enables them. That's in their mentality. I noticed it when this first came out. Biden said the press has discounted this. Yeah, right. They're on the of same team. The press discounted. Right. Who cares about the press? Right. The pre I mean, the press discounted the mafia. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay, Joe. The press discounted it. I mean, that's their mentality. And then he, then he sent out to the press a notice that they shouldn't put me on television. Can you imagine <laughs> yeah. if Trump put out a notice saying they shouldn't put Comey on television? <laughs> I mean, it is so unfair. And I noticed one thing you said in your, in your, in your monologue. You talked about Mueller. Now, as I think back on it, and yeah. I think about my encounter with Mueller when I was representing the president, maybe they put him there because they knew he hardly knew where it's he was. It's the perfect which analogy. Which he demonstrated when he testified. It's the perfect he analogy. Let, he, let, he, let the animals, he let the animals run the zoo. They put a guy up there that had, I guess, some stature, and then everybody else does what they do behind the scenes, and they can get away with yeah. it. Yeah, it worked well for them. It, and, you know, it, wor it, it didn't work perfectly because... You know, well, no collusion, no, no obstruction, but, but I think you're going to get the same. Out of that. They did, but I, I think at the end of the day, they're going to get the same result at Joe Biden, which is another term for Donald Trump. Rudy, I have to run, so I got to let right, you go. Jesse. Great show. Thank you very okay. much. I Thank appreciate you. you coming in. Thank you. Coming up, Waters hits the streets to see if people.